Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to jailbreak your latest iOS 6 uh, dot device. What I mean by that is the latest iOS on either 6.0, this is 6.0 through 6.1, and this is going to be working for uh, your iPhone, iPhone uh, 4S, uh, iPad, iPad Mini, uh, anything, again, it's on that 6 point or 6 point uh, up to 6.1 device, even the iPhone 5. So in this instance, today we're going to be taking a look more specifically on how to jailbreak it for the iPhone 5 and the iPad 4th generation. So kind of the latest devices of both, uh, you know, ends. So we have the latest iPad and we have the latest iPhone here. So on the left, you can see you have the iPhone and the left or right, you have the iPad 4th gen. Uh, this is just the airplay of my each of the device. So what you want to do in preparation for the device, right now you're going to head over to evasion.com. I'm going to have a link for this in the uh, video description. You can see right now at, it's a, at this time it's 99% final testing and preparation. I'm going to be showing you as soon as the client goes live uh, that you're getting ready to release it here very very soon. Again you can see it's compatible with all iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and iPad Minis running iOS 6 to 6.1. So what you're going to need to do is download the client first off for your version. So whether you're going to be on Linux, Mac OS 10, and or Win Windows, and once the download is ready, you're going to be able to get that. And by the time you're seeing this video, obviously the download is going to be ready. So device end, what are you going to need to do? Well, obviously you're going to want to make sure on each device you are on the firmware that's required, or for that matter, the latest firmware. So on each device for the iPhone, you'll go into settings. Likewise, on the iPad, you'll go into general on each device. Uh, go general, go into about on each device, and you will see here at the top of uh, this one, we're on uh, on this model, we are on 6.0 on the iPad 4th gen, so this can be updated and either jailbroken either at its current uh, you know state now or if we update to 6.1 it will also be jailbreakable and version 6.1 on the iPhone 5. So again, uh, if you have either of these devices and for the other devices will be pr practically the same, you want to make sure you're on 6.0 or 6.1. You're going to want to make sure you back up your devices via iTunes just to be safe in case anything happens. And of course, get the software ready once you download it for your proper you know, client, whether it be OS 10, Windows, or Linux, or your proper operating system. And with that, we're going to go ahead and make sure we have all our connections you know, hooked up. You want to make sure we have our lightning cable plugged into our Mac, PC, either or, and if, again, if you're doing this with a 30-pin device, again, your 30-pin uh, dock connector into each, uh, you know, into each device and be prepared to go through the jailbreak process here. Also, just a quick side note, you can also read the site here. Evasion team has some important readmes that you may want to go over, and just some, some stuff I've gathered from the Twitter. If you run an iPhone 4 and or an iPod Touch 4th generation tethered with 6.1 jailbreak, you should probably now restore to 6.1 prior to doing the jailbreak. So again, if you are on an iPhone 4 or iPod Touch 4th gen, or if, and you, I guess for that matter, a device with a tethered 6.1 jailbreak, now would be a good time to restore to stock 6.1. Uh, not if you use Ultra Snow, however. So if you're unlocking your device with Ultra Snow, it's probably not a good idea to uh, restore to stock. Again, you, there's going to be a process for that if you're an unlocker. Uh, but again, for the most part, you're going to want to be on stock 6.1 and or 6.0 for this jailbreak. Again, it's going to be compatible throughout. And uh, you want to do all this stuff like backing up. Uh, make sure once you get everything uh, ready, it's going to be taking a really quick process. Again, you're just going to plug in the cable and we're going to run through these steps here. All right, so here we are, guys, with Evasion finally downloaded. It has uh, been several hours since Evasion was released. So you can see here, it's officially released now. You can get the iOS jailbreak. You can see they have official mirrors right here where you can use to download the certain link you need for your OS here. Uh, so I got the one for Mac OS 10. Once you do that, you'll see you'll have a uh, Evasion right here. You can open it from here. And I'm just going to say open. You can see here is Evasion. I'm going to go ahead and move it over here and go ahead and minimize the website. So in this case we're going to be jailbreaking the iPhone 5. First we're going to be taking a look at the iPhone 5 jailbreak and what you want to do very simply is connect your phone to the computer, in this case my Mac. So you're going to take your lightning connector right now at this point and connect it in. You can hear my phone connect there. It says welcome to Evasion. This is an untethered jailbreak. This is untethered meaning that you will not have to plug in your device back into the actual computer in order to turn it on. So that's the difference between tethered and untethered. Uh, so this is untethered. You won't be tethered to a computer. You can see here it shows iPhone 5 Global 6.1 is supported. Click to jailbreak. So now I'm going to hit click to jailbreak to say connecting your iDevice, retrieving information for device to generate jailbreak data. 
we're just gonna sit here and let it do its thing here. And uh, at this point, you know, this is it compares to other ones where you have to get the IPSW, etc., etc. This one is already, uh, you know, good to go. It knows what to do. Again, this is a really this is just version one of the new evasion tool by the evasion team here. And of course, like I said uh, prior to this, you're probably going to want to do backups of your phone or your tablet or your iPad mini, you know, whatever device you'll be jailbreaking just in case, you know, stuff doesn't usually go wrong in this process. Uh, you know, you just want to let it sit uh, and uh, just let it do its thing here. So we're going to go ahead and let Evasion retrieve all the information as needed and get back to you once it's done. Alright, so you can see at this point the device is waiting for device reboot. So on your phone right now, you should be seeing the Apple logo. You'll see it reboot. Don't touch your phone at this point. You also probably don't want to open anything like iTunes or anything of that sort. You just want to let your phone sit for the most part. Uh, again, you uh, shouldn't run into any. I've run into any errors. If anything, uh, if anything looks like it's locking up, just do again. Wait. You can see here it's just waiting for the device to be ready here. So don't touch your device. Uh, my phone is just booted back up here. So we're gonna let it wait here. And um, there you go. My the phone is now detected by the Mac here, and it's just waiting. You know, the stage two injecting the actual jailbreak data so this is the point where it's actually going to be jailbreaking your phone at this point so I'm going to go ahead and let it do its thing all right so here we have the phone pulled up here it's actually uploading Cydia and the packages right now right now on the phone nothing's actually happening we're just going to let it sit here you can see uh, we have a new jailbreak icon however we're not going to touch that as of yet we're going to go ahead and wait for that it says now to continue to please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon. So at this point you can see my iPhone 5 on the screen here. Only tap it once and then return to the home screen. So if we're going to hit it, the screen will go black here and we'll change the home screen. It says now it's remounting, injecting the remount payload. And we're just going to keep on waiting here. And so far this has been a really easy process. Again, the guys at Evasion did this really well. Uh, a lot of people are used to kind of red snow sort of thing. You can see here it's preparing the jailbreak data. This really is a really one-click solution. You literally plug in your device, hit jailbreak, and for the most part, the software takes care of you. Jailbreak complete. The device will now restart a few times uh, as it completes the process. So again, you're just going to be waiting here. But that is it. You are now jailbroken on the iPhone 5 on the latest iOS 6.1. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that to pop up here so we can verify. Here we are guys, you can now see on the last home screen, wherever you, you know, your last icon is, we now have Cydia, it is fully working, you're going to go ahead and go and prepare the file system, your iPhone 5 is now jailbroken again on iOS 6.1, the guys at Evasion did a really great job in terms of updating this uh, to make it a really easy jailbreaking tool, so that in mind, now you're just going to let Cydia wait uh, and do its thing, upload, uh, update, uh, get its packages, etc, etc. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and now take a look at how to jailbreak the iPad 4th generation. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, probably about the same process action. So taking a look at the iPad 4th generation, same concept. Go ahead, take your iPad 4th generation. This is the Wi-Fi uh, model on the 6.1 firmware. It's supported as well. You can see it just says click here to jailbreak. And again, it's really that simple. We have the device hooked up. It retrieves the information. You just have your device hooked up via the lightning connector again you the same thing if you have an iPhone 4s 4 uh, any device you're jailbreaking really really simple again I cannot uh, stress enough how easy the evasion team made this process it retrieves the information you literally just have to want to kind of sit there let your device do a thing do its thing uh, at this point I haven't heard of any errors in terms of hanging with evasion or anything like that a good tip though if you're on Windows and this ever happens uh, try running it in as administrator mode uh, again I'm doing this on the Mac uh, but same process technically on Windows and Linux. But again, uh, one thing that does help if you ever get any hangups or stutters in these jailbreak programs on the Windows side is if you try, if you run right click it, run it as administrator, tends to bypass any permission errors and stuff like that. So now it's going to go ahead and inject the stage jailbreak, and we're just going to let it do its thing again. Your iPad is going to reboot at this point, uh, and that's it. You don't even touch your device. Literally, it's going to turn it back on. You're going to tap the icon at some point that says jailbreak. And again, you will be good to go, and we'll verify when City is back on the iPad 4. Hey, yeah, guys, jailbreak will be complete. The device restarted, and I can see City is now here on my iPad. I'm going to have to let it initialize, do its thing. Guys, this is how to jailbreak with Evasion, the new Evasion tool for the iPhone 5, the latest iPhone. Uh, you know, we've been waiting for this jailbreak for quite a while on iPhone 5, and 
and of course in the iPad 4th generation and all other devices that support 6.0 to 6.1 uh, definitely an easy jailbreak tool again evasion if you want to support them you can check it out you can donate to the team and uh, check out their tool really easy available cross-platform for the Mac PC and or Linux. Thanks for watching guys. For more content, head over to digitaldojos.com. If this video helped you out in any way, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching.